Okay, some people have been asking me for a version of uh, Steve Howe's clap, how you actually play it. Well, even he says it's very difficult and most people don't play it correctly. But I will give you some pointers on this, okay? So, the first thing to try and remember is there's a, an underlying rhythm in this tune, a pulse, which is going through the whole tune and carries the tune. And I would just practice doing this using the pick, yeah, and these two fingers. Oh, there's the camera. These two. That's how Steve Howe plays. Very seldom uses this pinky, or even his own pinky. He would play, I'm playing a, a D chord here. Okay. So you see, that's the first chord on the seventh fret at D. But just concentrate on this hand at the moment. Pick high note, then strum down over the remaining two strings, that would be the G and the B string. I cannot emphasize how important this is to this song. This rhythm, this playing, will go straight through this tune and make this tune groove, okay? Remember. Those little picking parts are quite straightforward, but keep the groove. Okay, so the second part will be if you're playing those chords, uh, that rhythm. This is this is what it would sound like without the the tones ringing. a bit fast. Okay, here's the chords. That's a D on the seventh fret. Sorry, I don't have dots on my fretboard. That's the seventh. Then it's a G. Okay. Same rhythm. Then when you hit play that G, you're going to playing a sort of a B minor, but you're walking the bass down. Sorry, I'm off the screen. To an A, then to a G, then a D. 